Hey guys, my name is Ismaus and today we're going to be looking at the new Blender volume object that makes making clouds much, much easier. Yeah, so let's uh, just jump in and get straight to it. So you can see an example I was trying out here, testing it out, and uh, we have a few objects here. So let's just uh, scratch this project and start uh, from scratch. I'm just going to first add uh, a sky uh, background, uh, just so we have something to work with. Uh, so let's go to the world settings and then under uh, color, Put on a sky. Uh, I'm going to use EV, but uh, this also works in cycles, uh, so it doesn't matter. I just want to do this in a faster way preview. Uh, so let's uh, change this to any of these two. I think we can have a nice blue horizon. Let's try out uh, this and see which what gives us a good sky here. I'm just going to move my camera here it up I turn on my screen keys okay I don't have that installed okay so this is now the new volume object uh, if you go to your shift a and add go to volumes you'll see a new object here called empty and uh, you can it's not very easy to select in the viewport so if you have your outliner out uh, you can just select it directly from there and uh, what it does is that uh, it can change any mesh into a volume object so uh, let's say we have a Suzanne head here just put him in preview there I uh, can select your volume and go to the modifiers and add a mesh to volume modifier and select uh, any mesh you have and uh, it will turn that into uh, a cloud uh, something and then let me start first Hide Suzanne so that we can see the results, we can see what we have there. And uh, this works in cycles and EV at the same time. So let me just switch to cycles here. You can see we have that. Let me just go back to EV. And uh, you can uh, add a sun to this. Uh, previously, it was really hard to get a mesh to, to look like a volume. Uh, using EV. You could do it in cycles by adding a, a volume material, but it was really hard to do uh, using EV. But now with this new addition, uh, volume object addition, is it makes it much, much easier. You can see how this looks. And uh, you can go to your volumetric settings and turn on volumetric shadows. And you can see that uh, now that is affecting uh, the shadow as well. It's uh, in pump this up to something like 30 so that we can see better now uh, if you select the volume object you can go back to the modifiers and play around with the density and other settings you have here you can turn off fill volume so that you can see uh, maybe the so that the outsides of the mesh are, are added to the calculation I only I uh, what I use uh, for uh, the volume instead of the entire uh, mesh uh, these are very self-explanatory uh, Vortex amount is, uh, you can look at it as the resolution of your clouds. Uh, the higher it go, the higher increase it, the better the resolution. But uh, at some point, you won't notice uh, that much difference, but uh, it will increase uh, the computation power. So you need to find uh, somewhere, a middle ground where you can uh, get good results without uh, slowing down your, comp your computer. So. Uh, this is what we have so uh, the purpose of this was not just to demo uh, the the object or the new tool uh, but uh, to show you how you can use it to make clouds so let me get rid of this Suzanne head and then just uh, add a different object uh, that we can use uh, to kind of sculpt uh, the clouds any clouds we want so I have a few images on from Google here uh, of clouds other reference so let me just get them just uh, drop them uh, let me just switch this to the image and actually let me just uh, change this to the image editor so that I can drop in at least a cloud like this and I'm going to, I'm also going to go to the color management so that I get some contrast in our scene maybe also turn on curves because I like this how heavy this blue is so let's uh, just add in some contrast to that so that we can have our viewport look uh, somewhere 
uh, close to that because I, I like that. So now with that, uh, let's add, let's start sculpting our uh, volume. So the first thing we're going to do is add a cube and uh, then add something like a uh, subdivisions. Uh, we just shade smooth for now and then uh, let's find our volume object. Again, it's very hard to see in the viewport. Okay, so I think it's this here. But uh, if you can't select it from there, you can just go to the outline and select it from there. Then I can select this new mesh we have just created as our object. Now I can hide the actual mesh from viewport here so that uh, uh, maybe I can also just go to the display properties and turn on wireframe so that in the final view here, I'm only seeing the clouds, but uh, I can still edit it directly here. Now. Uh, you can look at the reference we have here and I'm just going to subdivide this uh, increase the smooth now I can you can start shaping this to any shape you want for the cloud you can also turn on proportional editing so that you can move this around <coughs> Uh, this smaller one here now you can see that uh, the clouds are uh, because they are taking up the shape of the mesh are uh, they're also as round as the mesh but uh, what we can do we can uh, apply a new material to our volume let me just select it I think it's around here uh, it's that and uh, give it give this a new material because it's a volume it will add uh, the principal volume to it and uh, now I can just add a texture noise texture and uh, drop this into the uh, density and uh, what we can do now is use this uh, to add in some extra details to our cloud so if I add a car ramp here just play with this you can see uh, we're kind of subtracting some of the details so that we don't have uh, too rounded so that our mesh is not too rounded like that now I can further you can go on and uh, make more clouds here so I'll just select this control L shift D and uh, maybe even add a uh, displacement modifier here just add a clouds displacement just to distort other mesh just a bit and uh, maybe increase the scale and this strength and you can see can go back to the voxel add volume and uh, play around with the bounds here to get a, a variation at different clouds and uh, play with the density make it really strong or really low and reduce this let's go with a very low value something like 10, 10 and uh, let's try adding an area light just so we have a brighter area at the top there above the clouds I'm just going to bring this down uh, this is uh, C. You can even see if we add some kind of backlight. Okay, that's a bit too much. So you eat. This can help, really help you in uh, having more control over uh, the look of your clouds far better than what we had previously. Give this some bit of color. So you can kind of add direct your clouds and uh, shape them to how they want.
and now you can even do a fly through uh, these clouds and uh, yeah let's uh, first go back to make sure this is recording uh, change the let's uh, first change a few settings here to give it the default and see how detailed uh, these clouds can be can even fly through them I mean this is just amazing yeah thank you for watching I'll see you in the next uh, video